Hey guys, Shane Starnes with DrawerMetrics.com. Today I'm going to show you guys how to quickly and easily set up ADB on your MacBook Pro. Uh, the reason I'm showing you this is so that we can all be prepared for the SOF method that is going to be released for the HTC One M8 on Verizon. Uh, JCase and Bopes are pretty much almost ready to release this SOF method. It could come tomorrow, it could come today, it could come within the next few hours. Uh, so you want to make sure that you have your MacBook Pro or your Windows computer set up with ADB so that you can apply this Firewater SOF method. Now the method I'm going to show you is the simplest and easiest way to do this. You could download the Android SDK and install it that way. Uh, that is a little more complicated. Uh, this way only requires you to download the ADB and Fastboot uh, onto your PC and then you're pretty much good to go from there. I'm going to show you a few commands to run just to make sure that your device is connected and ready to go. Uh, so what you want to do on your device itself, we'll go into settings, go to developer options. If you don't see developer options, you'll go to about and you'll go to software information. Basically, you'll just click on the build number until developer options are available. You'll go into developer options and just be sure that your USB debugging is checked. Okay, and then we will connect our USB cable. On your MacBook, you'll want to head to this thread uh, by Ashton TS. This is a just a quick setup guide for ADB on the MacBook Pro. I'll be sure to include a link in the description. You'll head to the very bottom of this and you'll grab this file here, the android.zip. You'll download that, unzip that, and what you'll end up with is an Android folder with Fastboot and ADB. So now that's it. You now have ADB and Fastboot ready to go on your PC. We're just gonna run a few commands in terminal. So we'll go back to his guide. So we're gonna open up the terminal and we're gonna type cd space forward slash users forward slash username forward slash desktop forward slash android okay so now we're in the android folder okay so we're just going to check and see if uh, our adb recognizes our device we're just going to type dot forward slash adb space devices Okay, and it sees me here. It says that I'm offline. Now, what you should get on your device itself, you should get a message asking you if you want to approve of the computer. You're going to say yes and select always. Now, I didn't get that message this time. You might have to do it a few times, or you might have to unplug and plug your phone back in in order to get that message. Uh, but it'll always say offline until you've done that. So we'll type in this quick code so that we don't have to CD into that folder every time we want to run a command. We'll go nano space dot bash underscore profile and hit enter. Okay, now that we have this screen, we'll scroll down and this time I'm just going to copy and paste. Actually, you know what? We will we'll copy and paste this into terminal. Okay, so I already did it, and it's already here. But I mean, basically, you will copy and paste this, and then just put your username there, and then that will uh, ensure that you're always in the correct folder. So open up a fresh terminal and just type ADB devices, and our device shows up. Uh, so now we don't have to CD into that directory every time we want to type a command. So guys, that is the quick and easy method for installing ADB on the MacBook Pro. Be sure to follow this channel for the S off and bootloader unlock methods for the Verizon HTC One M8. Uh, those should be coming very quickly. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more coverage like this in the future. Uh, please be sure to share this video as it helps me more than you know. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.